Hey Magic Community on YouTube, T1 Glistenoff here. Once again I'm in the Vintage Untap Open League and I'm playing against Paskey who is on... This is Rug Standstill. So you see the three copies of Standstill. Standstill is a two-man enchantment that makes it where the next player to cast a spell, their opponent draws three cards and they sack it. Alright, cool. So that means we're going to be dealing with Planeswalkers and Land Creatures. So like Mishra's Factory for instance. Meanwhile, for me, you have Golden Gun Oath. I'm still on good old Oath. Uh, sorry, you, you can... Here, we'll do this real quick. You can uh, pause if you need. Take a, take a nice long look. The joy of 1080p. Hopefully you can see all that. And then for my opponent, it is this glorious monstrosity. And so, yeah. <laughs> there's, a, there's as good a reason as any. I will say, keep... And it looks like I am on the play. So I'm going to be going on this game plan. Actually, let's uh, let's check to see if that... Yep, okay, that resolves. Good, 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 good. We're actually going to jam this now. We're going to jam Oath. If it gets countered, that's okay. We have two backup win conditions in hand, so we'll be fine. We will be fine. And Standstill isn't a deck that I have to worry about like, one-shotting me. Alright, so cool. We're gonna let this go. Pass the turn. Uh, it, it's not like if I pass the turn to them, they're gonna blow me up on the next turn. Standstill is, by definition, a, you know, a deck that's too slow for that. Alright, so, and they, by the way, took a, a mulligan. So, starting with six. Alright, so sadly, no creatures. I'm gonna draw. There's our Blotus. There's Blotus. Uh, here's our test spell. We're gonna cast the Lotus now. Test the waters a bit. See if we're okay. Alright. So then we'll do this. We'll play Wasteland. Let's see if Oko gets to resolve. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say no. Oh, no. Oh, here we go. Here we go. What you got? Brainstorm. Mental misstep. Oh, and I have to lose two life here. Why am I not act? Okay. Ooh. Ooh. All right. Is that good? Are we good now? All right. Uh, so add counter. Oko is is stupid, and so oh geez, why is that happening? The answer is touch screen. Uh, I guess I'll shake it, but when you when you do it that way, it, it does make it pretty clear what's about to happen. All right, so that mocks. Uh oh, oh yeah, okay, they're tapping in response. Good, good. All right. Are they going to blow it up? Nope. I thought they might try to blow it up in... Well, no, they don't have the mana to blow it up in response with, like, a braid or decay. Not decay, ancient grudge. So pass. Ooh, bolt! Kill it. <laughs> Love it. Okay, yeah, um... Now Oko's in a really weird spot, because unfortunately, Oko can't... So, th the way that this is worded... Let me uh, actually do this bit first. There's nothing I want to do first, so we'll draw. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa. Pasky wants to finish... Oh, okay. Okay, that's game. They're conceding. Okay, I thought I, I, thought I messed up there. I thought something... All right, so we'll keep the existing deck. I, I thought I made, a, I made a bad input. Okay, so we'll do this. We'll do that first. Uh, now let's check our sideboard real quick. Sideboard time. Oh, no, that's not it. Uh, huh, scoop deck. Hey, there we go. Once again, they'll be completely out of alphabetical order, as you do, I guess. Uh, so... Hmm. 
There really aren't any great cards that I have for the matchup, if I'm being honest. I hate to say, but I don't think I do. I mean, there's Veil. Vale. That comes in, of course. And that should be a two of. Chalice, because their deck is so slow, Chalice probably still comes in. It's much better on the play. But let, let's see what else we have. Oh, oh, Flusterstorm, actually. Flusterstorm is good. Blightsteel stays in the side, because there's one in the main, one in the side. It's there for Karn with Channel. Oh, jeez. They're doing it again. Not like this. Not like this. Alright, so let's see what they can bring in from the side. Uh, so, no Graph Digger's Cage. That, that makes this a lot easier, actually. Now, to be fair, this is a deck that doesn't usually worry about... Uh, they don't have any creatures in the main board, as I recall. And let's check just to make sure. I mean, they have, like, Oko. So they have creatures, but they have Planeswalkers and land creatures. Uh, Snapcaster, actually. Okay. So they do have something to worry about, potentially. Potentially. Um... What do they... What is Soul Guide Lantern? Let me, let me check that out real quick. Sorry, you guys aren't going to be able to see this. I uh, apologize for that. So, Soul Guide Lantern is... When it enters the battlefield, exile target card from a graveyard, sack it, exile each opponent's graveyard, or excuse me, tap sack it, and then one tap, sack it, uh, draw a card. Okay. Versatility. I can respect that. What do they do against Oath? Like, is this one of those decks where they just kind of assume that they're in decent shape? I mean, three, oh, three Nature's Claim, actually. So three Nature's Claim. Okay. Okay. So, Flusterstorm, then. All the better. Chalice hurts us a little bit. I think it hurts them a lot more. It's gonna be weird. Well, no matter what, we have to take some other cards out, so let's see. Gush is always weird, unfortunately. Um, because we don't we have four Forbidden Orchard and we have Library Wasteland Strip Mine. We don't have as many actual islands as you might think. I found myself citing this card out. I think it shouldn't have been in the deck in the first place. Now we could do Imperial Seal. It is the worst tutor by a decently substantial margin. We also don't have any silver bullets in the matchup, so it's not like we're dying to find a certain card. That one can go. Assassin's Trophy, no, we need it for walkers. Channel, Dig Through Time, those are good. Uh, we already have a Flusterstorm in the main, one L, uh, Force of Will actually can come out. A copy of Force of Will, I believe, is correct to come out. You you don't want a two-for-one yourself in this matchup. I think that we're going to leave it as it is and not bring in the other Chalice. Or the Chalice, I should say. It hits a good bit of their deck, but I don't know that it's necessarily right because of how much of my deck it hits as well. There is a case, though. We'll, we'll do it, it when we win. Uh, we end up going on the play for next game. Alright, so they have shuffle... Okay, good. So if I'm seeing this correctly, they have... Alright, all right, there we go. So it took it a sec, but we got there. So we're going to draw seven. I don't know if, if they've decided to keep or not. This is, this is weird. Having double oath is good against uh, counter spells. Wait... What the heck? What are you doing here? Wait. A card I just cited out on camera showed up. Just a sec. Okay. I definitely cited that out. Did I, I cited out Gush, Force of Will, Imperial Seal. What the heck is this doing in the deck? Actually, oh wait, let's let's find out if it even saved it. Where's Gush? There's Gush, okay, so it just didn't save it at all, and there's four Force of Will. Okay. It didn't save the sideboarding 
I did. I'm recording, so you'll know if I cheated. Alright, so let us try this again. How do we do this? Just fix it. Okay, okay, working on it. Working on it. Top of deck. Shuffle. We're both locked for top eight anyway. Oh, that's true. We are, aren't we? Okay. So scoop deck. Scoop all plus... Okay. Let's try this again, folks. And they happen to be out of order again, because of course they are. <laughs> of course. Alright, so fluster storm. Let's get that other veil. I swear... Oh, it's stuck. Refresh the page. My goodness, it hates me. It j What are you doing? Okay. Swear. I hate this thing so much right now. As much as I, I generally like this, right now it is just freaking out. Okay, well... Because what happened there is that it wouldn't let me let... It's doing it again. It won't let me let go of the card. Oh my goodness. Alright, so we'll close, and then we'll do this again. Uh, hello? Ah! Okay. Let's... One more time. One more time. Okay, and we wait. Alright, let's try this again. Flusterstorm. Good. Veil of Summer. Where's the other veil? I'm getting tilted at the client. <laughs> okay. Let's go and get those same cards back out. I, I, I locked myself into those same cards. I can't change what... Oh my goodness. What I did. Because that would be wrong. Save deck. Okay. Now let's confirm... Let's make sure everything went the way it's supposed to. There's no gush, so we're good. Okay. Whew, we're good. It's taking it a while, but we got there. All right, shuffle. Draw. And that's a shame, because that was a good hand, too. Okay, this on the other hand... <laughs> this on the other hand... I mean, it's still keepable. We're on the draw. We have Force of Will, Time Walk, Preordain... Uh, Veil, we're fine. This is a fine hand. We will keep it. I'm gonna say keep. Uh, okay, so that was that was a downgrade. <laughs> I definitely got the worst end of that, unfortunately. It is what it is, though. It is what it is, folks. Alright, we're gonna go start off with a ponder. I'm gonna say that is good. And we will get off to it. Aha. Uh -huh. Off to the races. I mean, there is the other art for Ponder, the Lorwyn one that... I'm not sorry. Okay, so let's see. We'll draw? Okay, that's that's acceptable. That's definitely acceptable. Um, I would like to save this time walk, and so we will. Hmm. Um. M. M. Do we do this now? I don't guess it makes that much of a difference. We'll play the mocks first. It does give them more information, unfortunately. Um. You know, there is actually a case for waiting here. We'll still have Veil of Summer up. We'll have the ability to choose between which color we need, basically. So I think that there's a decent case for waiting. But, you know, something can go wrong here, unfortunately, if I wait. Uh, on the other hand, I do have to also worry about not having the mana for Tinker if they have Waste. Because if we look at their deck list, they have a Strip Mine and a Wasteland.
So I guess we go black mana D tutor here. Is that is that the line? Is that the play? Uh, and then D tutor. Well, if I do that, I won't be. Well, I have a Bayou, but then I won't have any blue mana. So I can't option select all three of these colors, unfortunately. I'm just gonna tell my opponent thinking, so they don't think I'm waiting around. They've already had to wait long enough, I guess. Uh, yeah, if I if I pop this now, I do have to worry about that. Um, but, I don't want to wait too long. Also, if I do anything, I can't hold up Veil of Summer. Though, I don't know that I need to hold up Veil of Summer right now. So I guess we'll pop it, and then we'll just kind of hope that we get there. Uh, well, you know what? I don't need... I don't need black right now, because I already have the... I have Tinker, so I have a Wing Con in hand. So, I'm gonna go get Tropical Island. And I'll, I'll hit my life total in just a sec. Go get the Trop. Alright. And there we go. Joys of a touchpad. Alright, we'll get there in just a sec. Alright. And let's see if we can resolve this preordain. If not, I mean, it's not great because I, I did just shoe black mana, but we'll we'll see. Okay, so we'll look at the top two. I swear. All right. There's oath. There's dig through time. Dig through time at this stage in the game is not great. Oath, on the other hand, is kind of brilliant. So. Uh, I guess we can go for that. And also we have four, so that's okay. So, <laughs> that's okay. So we'll put Dig on the bottom, and we'll draw Oath. Whenever it lets me. Alright. Add it to hand. And there we go. We'll pass the turn. Took me long enough. I am sorry about that. If we can find another fetch land, we'll be able to have uh, Veil and Oath. That may be a little much. That may be just a little bit much. Yeah, we'll see. Standstill is kind of a deck that would like, if at all possible, to try to run uh, three additional copies, in this case, of Ancestral Recall. If I'm going to be looking down at the screen all this time, yeah, let's let's make sure our, our we're in the shot at least. All right, new card, fresh card, Narset. Okay, well that's the Force of Wolf fodder for now. All right, ooh. Let's see if this resolves. Alert response, okay. Spell Pierce. I believe I'm supposed to let this go. That's, on the one hand, that's what I get for waiting. On the other hand, you don't want to give standstill too long. And I think I might actually be... I'm supposed to force here, aren't I? This is... this is tricky. Ah, uh, this is tricky. Tricky. So in this case, the card we'd like to get rid of most is Time Walk. Tinker's a win kind. Narset will draw us stuff. Though the blue-blue is a little awkward sometimes. I believe it's right to go... I mean, this is gonna get forced. So we're going to lose this exchange. Um, I don't know. I don't know, folks. I really can't say I know for sure. Uh, this isn't... Oh, yeah, we'll let this go. We will let this go. Okay. I've made my bed. Let me lie in it. Let's see. It's easier to do that when you have the oath, but you don't 
end of turn. Okay. I'm gonna fetch real quick. Uh, but you don't happen to have, um, you know, a, a creature for them yet. I don't have a Forbidden Orchard. I also don't have the black mana to use D-Tutor to get Forbidden Orchard. Ancestral Recall. Nope! 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 How about no? No response. Okay. That hurts. I could have at least used it as a cantrip. But this is a win con, and this gets me more cards. Time Walk is great in Oath. Time Walk is great in basically every deck, but uh, Time Walk, when you have Oath, means you get to have your creature and then you get another turn with it, because you cast Time Walk afterwards. Oh, okay. Nailed it. Got there. No, we didn't. All right, well, we did actually get there this time. Do we just jam the Narset here? I think we do as bait so that we get the Tinker to resolve next turn. Alert response, okay. See what you got. See what you're working with. Ooh, yep, okay. That's good. <laughs> Spells you control can't be countered this turn. If I had green mana, it's a little cute, but I could actually use that. That would have been neat. You can use Veil to, uh, to beat your opponent's uh, Pyroblast. Snappy. Ooh, yeah, ooh. Ooh, boy. I don't like where this is going. I guess on the bright side, they do have a creature out for Oath now. Alright. Yup. Always look on the road. Side of drowning. Okay, there we go. Take two. That is a thing this deck can do. Hey, there we go. Pass it to me. Come on. Come on! That is a ton of cards for them to have. There's channel. Alright, I think we just go for it. Again, we can't just wait forever. Ah, oh, not again. Not again. It's fine. We're just going to keep trying to hurl these bombs at them turn after turn until eventually we get there. Eventually. Ooh. Wait a minute. Spell Pierce. No, wait. No, that's in exile. Uh, wrong one. Yeah, there's Spell Pierce. There we go. Oh, or Pyro. Ah, that works. Yeah, unfortunately, not much I can do about it. I, I don't have the second green. Veil vale is a great card. We're still not out of it just yet. Eventually, they can run out of juice. Let's see. And we just found a fetch land. So, finally... Finally, so far anyway, this doesn't actually change the clock. Now that channel is essentially dead in hand, though. I mean, I don't think they have Stifle. I'm pretty sure they don't have Stifle. I don't remember it, at least. So now we go and get, yeah, there we go. Underground Sea. Alright, I dare you. I dare you. Counter this. Counter this. Let me draw a card. Please. Do it. Do it. Thinking. Yeah, generally speaking, it's not the greatest idea in the world to counter the D-Tutor. Alright, they're, they're gonna do something, though. The reason for that is that you use it on the card that they would go and get. Uh, since if I'm gonna cast it now, I have less mana to work with. Generally speaking, I'm sure there are exceptions to that. Niv, I guess. <laughs> Can't be countered spells. Back when Oath was being cute and running uh, Dragonlord Dramoka, 
Angela Merkel. Alright, looking for a card and deck? Looking for a card and deck. What is this? Mystic Sanctuary. Oh, neat. Gonna say no response. Alright, so that goes on top of their deck. Let's see what they have. They're going to do. What is this? Ooh. Ooh. Can't be counted this turn. Okay. Nope, we're going to let them have it. Yeesh. I think that's how you spell it. Yeesh. <laughs> We're going to get something out of this. Thankfully, while they are getting two cards, we're about to trade this Autumn's Veil for something. Yeah, sadly, Channel just hasn't gotten to see any use in this league. It's not a bad card, but it, the game keeps either I lose or the game keeps closing out. Um, before the, the channel actually can be used. Alright, now, finally. Ooh, got there. Got there. Yeah, that works. Noise. Yeah, this is what happens, folks. And this is why Chalice is coming in <laughs> next game. Again, though, it, it feels, it is awkward to bring in Chalice when you get hurt by it, especially on the draw. On the play, I can use it on zero uh, for their Moxin. Though, notice how many Moxin they have. Emerald, Ruby, Sapphire. I have five. Given that, maybe, now, I don't think that the Chalice actually came in. It, it, had I brought the Chalice in, it had a chance of being another Force of Will. Actually, probably a Preordain in this case. Oh, uh, I guess I should pass. I guess that's important. We're still not out of it. We can still win. It's extremely unlikely, but we can still win. The, we're basically at zero cards in hand. The, the channel doesn't... Ooh. The channel does Now Oath actually won't save me. Because I, don't, I lack another turn. Ancient Garage. Are we, we're just rubbing it in now. We are just rubbing it in. All right, so now what would get me out of this? Pass to me. I'll consider it. <laughs> All right. Yeah, no, we're, uh, is that a strip mine? Yeesh. I, we don't have a card that can get me out of this. We are actually dead. We're still gonna keep playing though. Let them show me some more information. Here we go. Game three. I'll play. All right. Let's scoop it on up. Play another game. All right. Pasky got that one. And then keep the existing deck. And let's try this again. Hopefully it won't hate me this time. Hopefully. Okay. So let's make sure it didn't revert back to the default. Um, nope, three force of wills and no gush. So we're good. We're good on that. Um, so now we can bring in Chalice. Chalice was actually fine to bring in in the first place. One thing about it, though, I'm... Hmm. If I run Chalice, I'm disincentivized from having as many preordains. But that's probably fine, actually. I really don't want to get into a war where I'm... Spending two for ones against this deck. They need force against me. I don't necessarily need force against them. I can, I can outgrind them on value, but not if I'm two for oneing myself a bunch. All right. So there's Chalice, which also isn't super effective against them. I, I should point out, Chalice does indeed end up losing to uh, a Braid and Ancient Grudge. Beats a decent number of cards, though. Hmm. 
Hmm. Actually, it might not be right even now to do it. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm gonna leave out Chalice. It hurts me about as much as it hurts them. I can... We can both play through it, they can remove it. I don't think that it's worth spending the slot. I'm gonna leave it as it is instead. Let's check one more time, just to make sure. Gush would be an interesting way to try to outvalue them. And it plays against their removal, such that it is, what little there is. Hmm. ERB for three minutes. Okay, cool. This gives me a chance to take a look at all this. Um... Imperial Seal is card disadvantage, but it gives me another way to just find... Like, if I can just hit them with win con after win con after win con, turn after turn after turn, I should be in okay shape. So, Seal can make some sense, but like Force of Will, it, it is card disadvantage. Hmm. I guess I bring in Gush over a Force. That sounds strange, but I think that that might actually be right. Alright, so that's what we're gonna do. Gush for Force. Ooh, jeez. Not that it matters which one, but we'll do that one. Alright. So, Gush should be okay. We It's a slow enough deck, we should be able to get up to two islands reasonably enough. And again, counter magic, two for one counter magic is not great, unfortunately. So, I uh, let's see. Have they, they didn't say keep. Uh, actually, they haven't done anything since then, so I don't, I don't have a clue. Although I get to decide first anyway. So, let's take a look, see what we have. Uh, this is fine. We have a couple ways to draw. We have some interaction deals with anything we absolutely need. Some fast mana. Strip mine. I think this is okay. We have some fast mana. Holy crap, we have a lot of fast mana. We are in we're in decent shape, so I will say keep. We lack a win con, but we have the means to get there. Alright. And so now we wait. Now we even we even have the exact mocks in for Assassin's Trophy. You know, just in case. Just in case we needed it. Uh, hmm. As for my anticipation of what they have coming in, so it's important to note that Dak Faden has to stay in the deck because this is open deck list. They know I have Blightsteel. So, Tinker Blightsteel, or even Oath Blightsteel, and then haha, ha, they get to steal my Blightsteel. That's not fun. Um, can't really come out, unfortunately, for them. The one Mystic Sanctuary is good. Two Oko, which can play against my Oath by giving me a creature so that now I have more creatures. Um, so that's always fun. That's always fun. <laughs> What's going on? Somebody is letting me know something. Gets con disconnected? I'm still in. Still in? Uh, yeah, he's asking if I got disconnected. Uh, no, I, I see the... Oh, yeah, keep. Alright, cool. So we're both keeping. Alright, so in that case, we will go... Get Taxi and Probe. Respond with Mental Misstep. I dare you. I dare you. Alright. Okay, so... Forcible Blue Card. Veil of Summer. Pyroblast. Uh, nothing I'm too terribly worried about, I suppose, but this Wasteland is a little awkward, unfortunately. They even have the fast mana for a turn one time walk, but they can't use it because then they can't hold up Force of Will, barring some great little draw. We'll take a screenshot just in case they hide it. Um, gonna wait on this Brainstorm and do a Preordain now, I believe is correct. Uh, because I don't have a blue mana, I don't have a blue source just yet, otherwise. So they, they can waste here. This is a little awkward. I may be making a mistake here. Wait, do I have basic, do I have snow-covered island? I do not, do I? Tinker, 
Oh, I do, I do. There it is. Okay. Nope, we're good. I forgot for a moment whether I actually had a, uh, a basic blue source. I'm going to have all of my colors anyway, so there's not really an opportunity cost for this. Alright, so we're going to cast this preordain. Should resolve. Alright, so there we go. Let's take a look at the top two. See what we're working with. It's a touchpad, so I get a little nervous every time I do that. Uh, neither of these are great. I think I'm just going to put both on the bottom. Yeah, if we had Oath, that would be okay. Better to find Oath first. Alright, let's see. That's another land. Okay, we can live with that. We can definitely live with that. We'll get these out first. And then pass the turn. Alright. So we, we actually get to hold up the Assassin's Trophy, just in case. And let's actually take a look at how many... Oh, uh, yeah, let's take a how, look at how many basic lands they have. So they should have just two... Oh, two islands, okay. Alright, so they're just going to cycle the time walk, which is fine. That gives them a land drop. That's fine. Kind of puts them ahead. They, that means they definitely have another blue card. Definitely. Alright. Oh, no. Oh, there are the islands. Okay. Okay. So we will pass. Draw. Force of Will. Nice. Very nice. Um, I mean, Pyroblast on the Brainstorm. But they don't have red mana. Hmm, hmm. I'm tempted to save this strip mine for a Mishra's Factory. Yeah, better to Brainstorm here while they, while they don't have... Yeah, well, they don't have red mana. They definitely have another blue card, though. Alright, so we will draw three. One, two, three. Slowly but surely, we got there. Oh, there's Oath. Hi, Oath. So we're gonna have a Force of Will War in just a second. Assassin's Trophy now isn't necessary. So that can go. And then one of my lands will go, and if I want to get really cute, I can keep Assassin's Trophy Strip Mine and just get rid of both of their lands and just tell them no more blue mana. Um, that would actually resolve if I did that. Um, yeah, that would resolve. I don't even have to crack the fetch. So if that's the case, I can go... Oh boy, oh boy, what are we going to do here? What are we? What shenanigans are we going to do here? Oh, but they have a Veil of Summer. Spells you control can't be countered this turn. So it would not resolve. Actually, that's, yeah, that's a little cute. Let's not do that then. So in that case, we kind of have a choose-your-own-adventure. I think I would like to go... I'm going to say thinking. So there's a number of ways we can do this. Oath has the benefit of not being hit by Pyroblast or Veil, so that's going to force them to force. Will force, they'll cast Veil of Summer, and their force will resolve. My force will not. Um, so no matter what I cast here, it's not going to resolve. No matter what I cast. But I can't just wait forever. Eventually I have to cast something. So do I jam... Oath, and then... Yeah, do I do that just to get rid of the Veil, the veil of Summer? Actually, no, I do that with Tinker first. No, no, it doesn't matter. Oh, jeez. That is a tough choice. Oh, man. On the, the one hand, I have two wing cons, so Veil's not going to be enough. Hmm, if they draw a red source, I'm going to regret not using, not firing the Tinker off first. Okay. So we put back Strip Mine Assassin's Trophy, 
I'm gonna keep these. Oath, Force, Force, Veil, they draw a card. And then on the next turn, if they don't have a red source, Tinker resolves. Or, no, 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 okay, okay, I finally got this. I finally got this. I'm gonna do Tinker first. They don't have Dak in hand, and they don't have red mana for Dak either. I see their hand. They're not going to respond to this. Well, they could respond with Veil, I guess. But they don't have uh, Stifle or anything. All right. Shuffle. There. I remembered this time. Untap doesn't do it for you. Okay. So Find a card. They have a Wasteland. It doesn't matter for now, though. I would like to have a second green source. It doesn't matter. They can waste. But I would still like to have it. Okay. Oh, jeez. So I get rid of the Mox Emerald. Oh, but they can cut me off of... No, I have to get rid of the Jet here. It's going to cut me off Black Mana, but I would like to be able to fire off Oath next turn after this does not resolve. Alright, so yeah, they have a... Oh! Oh, they're just going to do this raw! Okay, well, we might actually get a shot at it. Draw a card of... Okay, um, yeah. Alright, now they're gonna fire off the force. Then maybe they didn't have the blue card. Okay, what? go away, go away, alright. Pasky said no response. Oh, they said no... Oh, time for silliness. Find card. Oh boy. Oh boy. Time for Blightsteel, baby. Time for Dak Faden to do his thing. And before... Well, so now they could have Red Source Dak Faden. But if they have Red Source Dak Faden, they don't have blue card for Force of Will. So we are thoroughly in the driver's seat, I, I believe. I don't think I'm mistaken here. All right, let's see what you got. See what you're working with. Oh! May I see the hand? Please? Force, Pyro, or Wasteland, Pyro, Force. Nature's Claim, Volk. Ooh. Feel all once. All right. So there was that. Ah. Uh, Drew the red source one turn too late. No kidding. I had been worried about Dak. Okay, so we did it. We're 4-1. We're 4-1 in this. Um, it's not as... Now, to be fair, I should have won match three, but I'm an idiot. But then again, if I won match three, I might not have won the next match because it's a different opponent, different deck. You know, it, so it, it's... But I, I definitely punted hard. I still haven't finished beating myself up about it. Four outs with two Dak and two Oko. Oh, uh... Oh, did you leave? Oh! Well, that's that's a drag. I don't get to talk more about it. Not not to you. Yeah, so there were a few outs. The, the bad news is that neither... So Oko... Let's see, they had the mana for Oko. Uh, if they had Oko, that'd be a little bit different, but because they didn't have the mana for Dak, they needed to draw a Dak red source, and then they wouldn't have been able to have a blue card up for Force of Will. Oko, on the other hand, if they had blue card Oko, they actually could have gotten there. So, realistically, they had two outs. Well, kind of. They had to have Oko and a blue card. So, uh, I mean, they're not entirely wrong. Paskey's not entirely wrong, but... Deck, unfortunately, did not get them out of that uh, because of these cards. Uh, if they had if they had another blue card, which they didn't, but if they did, Force, and then I Force back, and then Autumn's Veil, or S Veil of Summer, uh, Autumn's Veil, and then I'm in, I'm in trouble for the next turn. Uh, but 
you know, as you do. Because Oath on its own doesn't actually win the game. You have to, they have to have a creature too. And I did not have an enabler. In fact, I put one of them on bottom of the deck. So, yeah. All right, so that's that, folks. Uh, take care. I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.